Okay, it's popping. It's time. Navigate. What is that? I'm very late on this, actually. <laughs> we'll see. I've heard a lot of good, good uh, stuff about Navia Story Quest. Okay. Oh, to the port of Fontaine, shimmering memories. Hearing the tides again, Rosa, multi-flora, chapter 91. Okay. Port of Fontaine. Well, if it isn't my dear partners. Oh, right up. Just like that. Right off the bat. <coughs> it's Navia! <That> was... <laughs> <laughs> Smile though. I didn't expect to run into you guys here today. Are you headed somewhere? Gotta protect that. Just getting our daily dose of adventuring. No plans in particular. <laughs> How about you, Navia? Are you still busy rebuilding Poisson? Poisson. Uh, we've wrapped up most of the rebuilding, but there are still a few things left to take care of. <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> Stocking up on materials, confirming construction timelines, discussing compensation terms with families affected by the disaster. Uh, uh, between all of that, <coughs> I've been making a lot of trips between the court and Poisson. Yeah, she's, she's busy. Wasn't Spina de Rizula affected too? Can you really be the ones offering comp compensation? Well, <laughs> though the victims have received relief payments from the court, in my opinion, as the administrators of Poisson, Spina di Rosula should take some responsibility as well. Spoken like a true Our financial leader. situation right now isn't the best, <clears throat> so all we've been doing is signing agreements for the damages to be repaid at a later date. Though just oh. pieces of paper now, they demonstrate our commitment. They're necessary to restore the people's faith in us. Wow. True. Spoken like a true president. Yep. You are a really responsible leader. That must be taking up most of your time, though, right? Oh, you exactly. bet. Between that and all the other errands I have to run at the court, I'm always forgetting one thing or another. So before uh -oh. I came over this time, I took a page from Elusa's book and decided to make a list of everything. This way, it's easy to see which tasks you haven't checked off. And then... And then, since Malus loved <coughs> using shorthand, I decided to also follow his example and come up with some shorthand of my own. Oh. But after running a few errands in the city, I'm kind of struggling to even read my own handwriting anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. That does sound like you, all right. So what kind of <laughs> shorthand did you use? Oh, want to take a look? Let Paimon see! Uh, wait! There's nothing here but a bunch of weird symbols. <laughs> this looks like a a piece of kelp wrapped around a stick. And this other hmm. one, um, is it supposed to be a boar in a box? Shorthand, huh? Hmm, uh, the first one has to do with confirming the final payment amount for the fishermen, while the second one... It's a reminder to try the new burger that just hit the market. <laughs> okay, Paimon can definitely see how you might forget what each of these mean. Bruh, maybe just use standardized shorthand symbols next time. Maybe just write out each item next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your advice. These are the kinds of things you only really figure out once you've tried them out yourself. <laughs> I thought that as long as I understood my shorthand when I came up with it, I'd be sure to remember the symbols when I looked at them later. Unfortunately, I've definitely proven myself wrong. <laughs> well, now you know for next time. Yep. Anyway, I should have already taken care of most of the things on the list. There are still a few symbols that I can't decipher, but 
I don't think they're anything too super important. My goodness. Worst comes to worst, I'll just make another trip. <laughs> just can't understand our own writing. <laughs> ah, so you're going to head back now? Yep, that's the plan. Oh, actually, since we talked about the reconstruction earlier, want to come with me and check out the town for yourself? Oh you shit! You said you don't have any plans, Ooh. right? So we can just catch a boat yeah. and head over. It won't take long at all. Uh, it's a bit sudden, but Paimon doesn't see why not. What do you think, Traveler? I'd be interested in taking a look. It'd be a pretty nice break, too. Then let's go. We'll take a boat over. Oh, you mean the Aquabus, right? Like the Clementine one? Oh, sorry. I meant our own boat. The Aquabus doesn't have a station near Poisson, so we'll use one of the Spinas boats. Wait, why is there... what the fuck? A different text color. Still got something to do, so... Sure, sounds good to me. So why don't you... oh! Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, follow me. I'll take you there. Nah, bro. Reason why we took on obvious story quests is because of... <laughs> just merely doing it. <laughs> it's my first time seeing that feature. It's very interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Where are we? Oh. The engineer is still doing a few routine safety checks. We can head out as soon as we get the green light. Amber, boat engineer. So, Paimon has always wanted to ask. The three Aquabus lines are all named after people in your family, right? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Callus and Navia are self-explanatory, while Clementine was the name that my mother went by. Oh, Clementine. Spina de Rousseau was one of the main sponsors for the construction, right? If you provided the Mora to build the lines, then why isn't there even a dedicated line to Poisson? Yeah, Spina true, Rousseau actually. Spina built all the lines, yet you still have to take a special boat just to go home. Paimon doesn't get it. I think that's way faster, actually. Well, what I heard is that most of our businesses don't actually use Poisson as a hub. So, there was no real reason to build a line straight to Poisson. I see. You are right that it is a bit strange, though. If you've already committed to build three lines, why not just add a fourth? Huh. Bro. Yeah, that's what Paimon's saying! The Aquabus is so convenient, it's really a huge shame. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what my father was like. Even I often struggled to figure out what was going on in his head. It is what it is. Well, something that big also wouldn't have been just his call. Perhaps the rest of the Spina dis didn't see a point to having a poor, poor fine. <laughs> but that would only be the case if he cared about what others thought. My father was always really stubborn. Once he made up his mind, good luck getting him to change it. <laughs> From what I've heard, the rights of all the other members of the Spina only went as far as giving him advice or suggestions, and no farther. That included my mother, too. Hmm. Huh. Well, that explains why you weren't on the greatest of terms with him. Oh, well. Yeah. Because I wouldn't just let him keep getting his way. He was just... <sighs> not very agreeable. <laughs> Boss, the boat's ready. We can head out. <clears throat> All right, Let's then see. let's head out. All right. Hey, where? Where is that location? Braving the tides together. Nice scenery. It'll be a while before we get to Poisson. Let's keep talking. Okay. Hmm. Navia, what was your mother like as a person? Wait, what the fuck is happening with either said? What? Oh, Paimon, sorry. She totally forgot that you mentioned before that she passed away during childbirth, so you probably don't remember her at all. What was that? That was a weird glitch. What the? Uh, that's all right. I've heard many stories about her from the rest of the Spina. They've always said that they were sure we would have gotten along famously. 
While my papa was stiff like a board, my mother was supposedly super cheerful and funny. Their complementary personalities allowed them to make up for each other's flaws. That's the result of Navia. My father would run the businesses and expand our reach, while my mother would keep the peace and make Should sure that everyone was happy. Their work made sure that the Spina could grow and thrive. Nice. Sounds like they were not just a well-matched couple, but fantastic business partners as well! Yeah. yeah, but those are just stories and anecdotes after all. It's <clears> hard <throat> for me to piece together a more complete or intimate picture of her. Yeah. But sometimes, I'd still look at the Clementine line and wonder, would the Spina and Poisson still be what they are today had my mother survived? Silver once said that a name is a kind of inscription, a way to etch a memory into the world. When given a name, a cold, inanimate object can gain a completely new meaning. So, I will always associate the line with her in my heart. Over the past few weeks, I've also begun to appreciate how water can take in and hold our most intense feelings and memories, as well as how one may reflect on their past by watching the sea. I've lost many beloved people and memories to the sea. Even though I cannot stop for them and must continue to keep moving, the fact won't change that they existed in my life and gave me the reason and motivation to move forward. You miss them? Missing the loose so? Always. But no matter what, we can't change the past. I didn't even but click it. What the I fuck? tell myself that I need to keep looking towards the future. Everyone, even my parents, have already overcome so many obstacles. Oh, it's like time, okay. <laughs> Besides, I'm the president of Spina di Rosula. I've got to keep my chin up. Yep, that's the spirit. <clears throat> Are we at Poisson? Ah, we've reached the shore. Let's go. I'll show you the new Poisson. The new Poisson. Navia, do you think she's doing all right? She seems to be managing. She's always been having to cope with one thing or another. Okay, Paimon supposes you're right. She's really been through a lot. It couldn't yeah. have been easy shouldering so much by herself. Yep. Lost her parents, lost her colleagues, and it's just bruh. Who's that? So one of her colleagues. Boss, you're <laughs> back. Traveler in Paimon. Welcome back to Poisson. Oh, it's Florent. <laughs> oh, hey! Fancy seeing you again, Florent. Is it your turn to take care of Navia now? <laughs> hey, Bruh. I can totally take care of myself. <laughs> For the time being, I'll go around without any attendance. <laughs> we did hand over some of Malus's old responsibilities to Florent, though. It's been really nice to have him around to help out. Damn, Malus and Silver. Huh. Thank you for the compliment, boss. As you see, I've been working closely with the boss on rebuilding Poisson. Mr. Malus was an extremely capable and respected member of the Spina. I've got some really big shoes to fill. All right, all right. There's no need to be so formal. Everyone's practically old friends by now. Were you waiting here for me? Did we manage to make any progress on the statue? Yeah, we contacted a sculptor about the job, but they can't get started on sourcing a correctly sized block without knowing the design that we want to use first. Oh. You're commissioning a statue? Ah, so... Basically, we've been meaning to commission a statue of my parents in commemoration of everything they've done for the Spina and the town of Poisson. 
But since my father was known as Callus the Unfaithful for the longest time, it would have been too controversial to commission a statue of him. Yeah. But now that his name has been cleared, and the town is also being rebuilt, I thought this would be the perfect chance to actually realize this dream. That's sweet, actually. The funds to build the statue were freely donated by the people of Poisson to show their appreciation for Miss Clementine and Mr. Callus and everything they did. Shouldn't Navia be featured with them too? <laughs> Me? I'm just the newbie president that's running around and causing everyone trouble. Hmm. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Maybe we can have this conversation again in a few decades. Few once decades. I've done more for the town and the people. Hey, they Damn. don't need to be so humble. Didn't you just help save the entire country? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. I also believe that Ba should have a place on the statue. Yep. I agree. Hey, if you keep inflating my ego like this, I might just float off into the sky with my parasol. <laughs> you keep inflating my ego like this, I might just fall off in the sky with parasol. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. There's Bruh. no way that I'd accept that kind of compliment at face value. At a minimum, I'd have to match what my father did for the people. I really like how she's staying positive after the whole happening section. That's what you think. I think I'll, it'll just be a matter of time. <laughs> sure. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I just don't think I'm ready yet. Um, you're already leading, so... Anyway, Florent, now it's up to us to confirm the final design, right? Florent. Mm-hmm. We can ask the sculptor to start looking for a good block once we've decided on the poses for Miss Clementine and Mr. Callus. But we haven't had any real discussions yet on the possible designs. I feel like I should get a few promising designs first, and then send them over to you to review. Okay. Uh, there's no need for all that. Let's decide on a design right now. Hey, you! Come over here with me. Who's that? You're calling me like that. Me? What are you doing? Modeling a few poses, of course. Oh. <laughs> here, just pretend to be callous, and I'll be Clementine. Oh, the what? <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> so. Didn't you say on the boat that Callus and Clementine sounded like great partners? Well, hmm. then there's no one better to fill this role than my most valuable partner. Bruh, why is, it, why is this like an indirect ship, bruh? <laughs> I mean, okay. Flora, let's grab some reference shots. You've got it, boss. <clears throat> I'll go get the camera. Damn. Well, what do you think? Got any ideas? Uh, shouldn't you be running this show? <laughs> well, I've actually discussed it a bit with Florent before, but I could never come up with any fresh or original ideas. It's probably because my idea of them is already kind of set in stone. Hmm. Okay. Bruh. So. I want to pick your brain for a bit, and see if you can come up with some new and interesting ideas. Just like Bonnie and Clyde type of stuff? <laughs> I'm all good here, boss. Feel free to start posing whenever. Okay, and let's try for something in pose. Okay, then let's try looking out into the distance. Okay, then why don't we try... Why don't we just strike a happy pose? Imposing? Imposing, huh? Oh, I've got it. Let's try this. Oh shit, okay. This pose. It makes me recall Spina de Rosula's glorious golden age. But mm -hmm. isn't Clementine's pose a bit too bold and heroic? Was she really that kind of person? If we mm. were to stick with this pose, maybe people would wonder if she was actually the real boss behind the scenes. <laughs> well, tabloids did indeed speculate as much back in the day, but the Spina pulled a few strings and made both the report and the journalist uh, 
disappear. Wait, what? Oh, Paimon was just kidding! Please don't make Paimon disappear. <laughs> 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 what Florent meant was that we asked the journalist to choose a new alias. Well, I should have thought disappear, but... <laughs> Right, though, that this may not <laughs> accurately represent the image of her in our hearts. Let's try to come up with something else. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's, let's try looking out into the distance. Ah. By that, do you mean as if we were standing on a boat and looking out at the sea? Sure. Let's give that a try. But I feel like the third option is the best one. <laughs> Whoa, you really remind Paimon of a captain and their first mate! Nani? Look over there, my dear Clementine. As you can see, every tree on that island is dripping with mora fruit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Imitation, though. Mm, but there's something off with the composition. This pose makes Mr. Callus look too tall next to the lady. Too tall next to the lady. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, then let's swap. Oh. <laughs> that smile. Well, Paimon is a fan. A statue like this would look fantastic on a boat. Wait, That's in a but boat, huh? we can't do that. Very few people would see the statue if we were to put it on a boat. This statue is meant to be placed in the town. Oh. Okay. But then, since we're putting it in the town, <coughs> the whole point of the pose would be lost. Oh, okay. We'll try to think of something else. So the third option. Okay, then why don't we just strike a pose? A happy happy pose. pose? You mean <laughs> something like we were laughing together at a funny joke? Hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit goofy. Actually. Would all that be able to come through with just a picture? Exactly. Would we even be able to tell what they are supposed to be laughing about? Yeah. Yeah, and that'd probably be a massive pain to sculpt as well. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Can one of you try striking a pose like you're talking while the other one laughs? Hmm. That'd work. It's a bit that goofy. Sounds pretty hard to pull off. Forget it. Let's try something else. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's not in ingredients. Hey, it's taking a long day, huh? Wow. Uh, we tried a bunch of different ideas, but none of them felt right. I'm not all out of range. Oh, don't worry. We still got a lot of reference shots out of the session, <laughs> and each of them can be considered to be a souvenir in their own right. Let's just keep the ideas we tried as backups. Oh, that's true. Man, if I knew I was going to do a photo shoot with the Traveler, I would have prepared a lot of outfits and props <clears throat> ahead of time. <laughs> oh my gosh, Navia. Oh, outfits! <laughs> oh, that's the errand I forgot back in the city. Oh. Do either of you still remember that girl? The girl I went to see with you two. Her name is Adele. Adele. Oh, Paimon remembers her. She was the one that we met while investigating Mr. Callis's case, right? She always believed that her father, Jock, was a good person. Yes, that's exactly who I'm talking about. So, after the case, she was finally willing to talk to me. And she told me that she wanted to join the Spina, too. Adele. I don't even remember her fucking I out. said that it's fine, but young children are not allowed to join the Spina. Oh. She will just have to wait a few years, and then we'll welcome her with open arms. It's the Since kid. still a child, though, she thought I was just trying to let her down gently. Hmm. How could I get her to believe that I meant what I said? In the end, I came up with an idea. I'd have a Spina uniform made and give it to her as a gift. Oh, that's cool. But... I got so busy and distracted in the city that I forgot to pick the uniform up. Uh, so I did forget something important after all. 
don't worry, boss. I can send someone to pick it up right away. On the matter of the statue, we should still come up with a few more ideas for the design. I'll have to trouble you to source some for me. We could have just done that from the start. <laughs> yeah, at least this way, we got some cool pictures. That is true. Yeah, you're right. They'll have some value in souvenirs at least. There you go. Okay, we're discussing. <laughs> Navia! The wrong! Guess who's back? Coulter. Huh? But aren't you supposed to. Oh, well, if it isn't Coulter. Back already from the Fortress of Meripede? Oh, is he. is he a free man now? <laughs> That's right. I finally oh. finished serving my time. Gotta say, it turns out I was a lot tougher than I thought. Oh, wow. After I got out, I immediately made a beeline back to Poisson. You could say that familiar briny smell became a primal call, urging me to forget everything else and just come back home. Congrats, I guess. You wouldn't believe how much I've missed Melissa's grilled fish. I dreamed about it every time I had to get a welfare meal down there underneath the sea. Melissa. It's good to have you back, Coulter. You look as well as ever. I want to know how he got into the fortress, though. And this, this guy, guy is? <laughs> ah, let me introduce you. This is Coulter, another of Spina di Rosula's members. He was found guilty and sentenced to the fortress of Meripede <clears throat> some time ago. Bro. But, looking at it now, it was probably another one of Marcel's plots while he worked at the Confrerie of Cabriere. Oh. Wait, wait, Mr. Marcel. What do you mean? He was involved in some sort of plot? Have you not heard anything at all about the water from the primordial sea case? Bro. The guy's literally been living under a rock. <laughs> well, I know that Fontaine They're got deceased. flooded, but then the water levels miraculously receded. I thought that was all there was to it and didn't care to ask for any more details. Do you mean... Mr. Marcel was somehow involved with all that? Marcel was just pretty much just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> oh, looks like we'll have to explain everything from the top. Yep. But that case, uh, a lot of things have happened in Poisson since then. Yeah, he's catching up. <laughs> first things first, let me introduce you to these two. They're my most trusted partners, and they've been with me through thick and thin. Now you could call them Spina di Rosula's VIP helpers. <laughs> I'm a smug smile. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. I don't recall Navia ever generously complimenting anyone like that before. <laughs> so you must be pretty amazing to get that from her. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, we are indeed pretty amazing. But we've been cool since before we even met her. <laughs> Just followed Navia's lead. I'll credit to Pyam one. <laughs> Nah. Humble again, as always, I see. Even when I was totally sincere with my praise. Huh. Nice, nice. Spina di Rosula always seems to attract great people. Something is off about this guy, I don't know why. Oh, that reminds me. Where are Malus and Silver? Aren't they always by your side? Oh, no. Um, about that. No, you just reminded me. He's reminded her of that, bro. Coulter, a lot of things happened while you were gone. As you can see, even Poisson isn't quite the same as how it was before you left. Wait, I just realized, what the? Didn't they evacuate the whole fortress? How is it not in the loop? They lost their lives, keeping me safe during the flood. Man. <sighs> what did you say? This isn't some kind of morbid <clears throat> welcome home prank, right? You're just scaring me on purpose because I don't know anything about what's happened. Bro. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. They weren't the only people we lost either. Many others, including Melissa, also lost their lives in the disaster. Luce and Melissa, dead. They're just... gone? Yep. Loose. 
I was planning to give him a surprise gift once I ran into him again in town. I can't believe it. Uh, hey! Keep it together! Malus and Coulter were friends for many years, and even served on many missions together during the early days of the Spina. I can understand how he feels. It was tough. Let's sit down somewhere, so I can tell you everything that has happened while you were gone. Fair warning, there was... a lot. I... okay. Yeesh. Alright. Go up there. Right. All of this, it's unbelievable. I, I can't believe that those stories were real. It all really happened. Has the world gone mad? Had I not personally experienced all of those events, I would also have found them very difficult to accept. I think you and I both feel the same way about the profound tragedy of Melusa's loss. And the sheer depravity of Marcel's actions. I thought Mr. Marcel would always stand by the Spina. Everything he had, the Spina gave to him. It's unconscionable to have received all that, and yet still plot to kidnap and dissolve you for his insane research. The good news is that the Confrérie of Cabriere is no more. Gone with them too is the entire synth manufacturing and distribution network. <sighs> we finally closed the curtain on that long struggle. Yep. Are you sure? But if Marcel wanted to rebel against us, he probably sent word in secret to Romeu. Romeu? Romeo. I wouldn't have gotten that name. <laughs> huh. Not a name I've heard before either. Oh wow, you did not guys remember, remember him. Bro. You see, there was once a major internal dispute regarding funding the construction of the Aquabus lines. See. Romeo was the leader of the faction that thought such a vast sum of mora would be better spent improving the town of Poisson. But Mr. Callus believed that an opportunity to collaborate with the Court of Fontaine and the Fontaine Research Institute was hard to come by, and would allow us to build many valuable relationships. Mm -hmm. Not only would the Aquabus be a good business investment, it would also boost our reputation among the general populace, eventually paying us massive dividends down the line. But the two couldn't come to an agreement. Romeu ended up taking a lot of people with him when he left Spino di Rosula altogether, and the split was on extremely bad terms. Ugh. And with Papa's stubbornness, I can definitely imagine how it must have gone down. And of course, when he was suffering the slings and arrows of outrageous injustice, those relationships that he spent a fortune to build didn't help in the least. Yeah. You could say it was the price he paid for sticking to his beliefs. That couldn't have been the first time a dispute like that happened, right? <clears throat> oh, that's a good point. If Callus was really as stubborn as you say, then wouldn't he have argued with the rank and file all the time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It eventually became a thing that just happened on every day that ended with Y. But Navia, uh, I mean, boss, you might not know this, but he wasn't always like that. He used to be a lot better with taking counsel. With him listening to our advice, and Miss Clementine also frequently on our side, it was pretty smooth sailing for a good many years. But on the matter of the Aquabus, even Miss Clementine completely stood by Mr. Callus' side. Huh. I never knew. But 
from my perspective, Romeo's position had a lot going for it. Couldn't they have sat down and talked it out? I think the Aquabus was just the straw that broke the camel's back. On that topic, they eventually came to a rather radical conclusion. They believed that Miss Clementine lost her ability to serve as an impartial mediator when she became pregnant with Callus's child. Onavia? So they thought she had betrayed them? Hmm. But that doesn't make any sense. Before she was their mediator, my mother was also her own person, and a member of the Spina. She should have the right to take any side she wished. Oh, angry Navia face. Yeah, but to them, <laughs> even taking a side was betrayal enough. They felt like their voices could no longer be heard once their sole mediator had gone over to the other side. Hmm. Of course, Ms. Clementine then passed away. And Mr. Callus began to regard the completion of the Aquabus project as her final wish. With that, the last hope of reconciliation was gone. Seems like she died when she was giving... She was in labor, maybe? So that's what happened. I see. From that point on, <clears throat> Romeu and his people cut ties with the Spina. And never gave us any kind of professional or personal courtesy ever again. Yeah. Perhaps they've regarded us as enemies ever since they left. But even so, there is still no proof that they ever acted in concert with Marcel. Could be Marcel's undercover agents. We've also heard that they aren't in a good financial position, so they've been lying low for a while. But as long as they exist, they'll continue to be a threat. Oh, well, now that I think about it, they could be a... Oh. Huh. I think Coulter's got a point. Both Marcel and Romeo had my father in their sights for a very long time. Yeah. Can't just take that threat off of our eyes. They're in goods with Marcel before. Even though Marcel's faction has been dissolved, we still don't know anything about Romeo's whereabouts. If they're still trying to get revenge on us... Yeah, they could be on the move right now. With how distracted and vulnerable we are... Now would be the best time. Yeah, exactly. Good thinking, boss. <clears throat> we should keep an eye on them at all times. I'll let my men know right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be thank alert you for that, Florent. All times. And Coulter, thank you for telling me about this as well. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing. Do you have a moment right now? How about we go out for a walk? There's something off about this guy, honestly. I've heard so many incredulous things today. I'm finding it a bit hard to calm down even now. I mean to think that I'll just never see them again. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm on edge. <laughs> ah, in that case, why don't we go back to the court? I can pick up Adele's uniform while we're there as well. It'll save Laurent's guys a trip. Oh, sir. Okay. Want to come with me again, you two? You don't mind, do you, Coulter? Oh, uh, uh, of course. That's fine by me. Stuttering. Then let's go! Paimon feels like a lot hinging on this visit. I want to see a little cheer up. I want to see the future star of the Spina. <laughs> we really are the best of partners. Come on, let's go. Future star of Spina. <laughs> Relax with Colder as you head to the court of Fonte. Fontaine. Alright. <clears throat> Okay, it's going up. Are we not taking the boat this time? Hmm. It's nice to walk from time to time, isn't it? Think of it as something like a hiking trip. Bruh. Once we're there, we can stay a few days before we return. Sounds good. I haven't walked this road in a long time. Oh, we're just gonna walk. Oh, shit. <laughs> we are just gonna walk. Skyward! Let's get right to it immediately.
All right. Well, we've walked far enough for now. Let's take a break. Since we're out for a walk, we shouldn't stress too much about the destination. <laughs> I've grown old, so I'm not as fit as before. It's a good thing that at least my work down in the fortress was quite the workout. Well, Paima thinks you're doing great. We didn't have to slow down for you at all. Back in the days before the Aquabus lines were built, we often had to hike north with our goods, then catch a boat to the court. Malus and I must have traveled this way hundreds of times. When we were tired, we would lay down for a while on the grass, and when we were hungry, we'd catch a fish or two. The Spina was still on the rise back then. Mr. Callus was generous, and everyone had the chance to strike it rich. So, of course, we all worked really hard. Trying to reminisce. And now, in the blink of an eye, the Aquabus lines have been built, and this road has fallen into disuse. I don't really think it's a bad thing, though. Oh, I know. I was just being a little nostalgic. <laughs> then let's stay here a bit longer. Anyone want snacks? Oh, uh, of course, Bonnie. Oh, is this another chance yep. to try some of Navia's macarons? <laughs> I've been dreaming of them. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I figured you wouldn't say no to a few more. Oh, uh, wait. Let me check if I have all the ingredients. Uh, Malus and Silver used to take care of tasks like this. Oh, no. Okay. The stove's looking good. And as for the ingredients... Seems like we're all out of flour and sugar. The two most important ingredients of all. Should I go get some? Oh, <coughs> would you? Oh, but it would be too much to ask you to go on a trip just for those. We should contribute to making the macaron too! Don't worry, we cook out in the wild all the time, so he should have some stuff on hand. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, that's great. Then I'll leave the ingredient gathering to you. As long as we have some sweet flowers and wheat, I can start the baking. Our endless backpack. <laughs> then I'll go look for some boxes nearby for a makeshift table and chairs. Great. Then I'll prep the stove. Let's get to work, everyone. I'm wondering, how in the fuck are they carrying all this stuff? <laughs> the, give the wheat and sweet flour to not some sweet flour nearby and then for there. Fuck was that? Nah, bruh. Nah. <laughs> Here for Navia. Obvious story quest. Ah, how did it go? Did you find the ingredients? Yes, ma'am. Sweet flour and then. Oh, fucking table just popped out of nowhere. All done your part. Just leave the rest to me. Nabia bakes a batch of macarons. Whoa, these macarons look and taste magnificent! <laughs> your cooking is as good as ever, Nabia. <laughs> Boss's baking skills have always been famous. Everyone in the Spina knows how exceptionally talented she is. Oh, <laughs> it's just a hobby. There's no need to praise me for it like that. Have you two seriously never considered joining us? You're so close to the boss, and she obviously trusts you with all her heart, so... There's still some important things we must do. You really want to poach me from the Adventurer's Guild? <laughs> Oh, I, I see. Is that why you have to always stay on the road? Yep. <laughs> you just happened to walk in on our little reunion. It's actually been quite a while since we last spent time together. Adventurers never stay in one place for long. The name of Spina di Rosula would just tie them down. I mean, the main reason why we're in Tibet is because of our sister. <laughs> Besides... After everything we've been through together, I'm sure our hearts would remain intertwined even if we found ourselves on opposite sides of the world. Obvious, right. That's certainly one way of putting it. Even if Paima was far beyond the horizon, she'd still remember the delicious taste of Navia's macaron. Bruh. 
I'm gonna nerf food and more. <laughs> I understand now. Then I am very lucky indeed to have been graced with the chance to meet the two of you. <clears throat> I will endeavor to make the most of this short yet fortuitous encounter and enjoy every moment we spend together. We've got no wine with us, but let's still toast with water in celebration of this moment. Water. Oh shit. Someone's rustling, bro. Huh? Well, I heard something just now. Is it just some small critter? Cheers! Hey, what are you doing? Quick, join in on the toast! Cheers! May your travels go smoothly. May the spina continue to grow. And may our friendship last until the end of time. Someone's behind the bush. Who's that? Said, let's move out then. Who that? I asked some old acquaintances in town to make Adele's uniform. So we should be able to pick it up right away. To the court of Fontaine. Who's there? I'm gonna act like I'm gonna find him immediately. It's gonna derail the whole fucking story quest. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> Alright. Port of Fontaine. Final destination. Alright. Oh, a different, hey different there, Ludovine. How's business lately? Ah, the demoiselle of Spina de Rosula. I must say, your generous patronage is the one thing keeping me from going bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. We all know what a talented businesswoman you are. No, oh, man, don't forget, she's the boss now. <laughs> <laughs> that smile. My mistake, my mistake. I just got so used to calling her Demoiselle. Demoiselle. Are you here for the uniform? Yep. I forgot to drop by earlier when I was running errands around here. <laughs> I didn't expect Demoiselle to come and pick it up in person. It's just a uniform after all. Any of your folks could have come instead. Nadia's always liked to take even small things seriously. Huh. Hey, that's not the only reason I'm here. We mostly just <laughs> needed a walk to clear our heads. There are few things more uplifting than taking the first step on a new journey. <laughs> uh, boss has got a point. Going on a trip with friends is always better than staying cooped up at home. Yep. Very well. Please, wait here while I retrieve the uniform for you. Okay. Uh, can someone remind Paimon again why Adele wants to join the Spina? <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't given me any concrete reasons. All she says is that she really looks up to me. Oh, is that After it? we cleared her father's uh -huh. name, she became a lot more cheerful and outgoing. It's probably because she now knows for sure that her father was never a bad person. That's adorable. She said she used to be terrified Ooh. of Papa. So, as a result, she found all the rest of the Spina super scary as Someone's well. Someone's stalking us, uh-oh. But the Spina is very different now. She mustered up the courage to talk to me, and felt like I could really understand her. Two of you have contended with similar circumstances. Yeah, you could say that. <clears throat> By uncovering the truth about the case, I was able to give her closure at the same time. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> She said that she wanted to become someone like me. Someone who could lend a hand to others, instead of standing still and waiting for others to help her. From the sound of it, she'll be a wonderful addition to the Spina. I think so too. Oh my god. But for now, let's focus on giving her a great atmosphere to grow and thrive. She can commit to us once she's older, and can really make that decision for herself. So I wasn't just hearing things. Is something up, Traveler? Follow me. Someone's tailing us. Huh? Tailing? Oh, Paimon's coming! 
I'll it's go coming. check it out too. Coulter, please hold on to this for me. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna. I'm on seven two. They hit it up. What the fuck? Stop right there. <laughs> Catch up with the people following you. Bruh, we're we can literally see you. What the? F <laughs> oh, <laughs> now we went ahead. We knew you were going to be difficult, Martin. Seems like if we want them to talk, we're gonna need to teach them a lesson first. Brothers, there's no need to skulk in the dark anymore. Let's take them out. Oh, this was the. Uh... Romeo's men, maybe? Um... Order guide you! Yeah! Got her! She's the sky! Wind strike! Shab! Watch out! Ha! Ha! <laughs> Now talk. Who are you, and why were you tailing us? God, be Romeo's men. Don't think we'll let you off easy if you keep silent. Recognize your situation and don't entertain any fantasies of escape. We got people up above and down below us as well. <laughs> How did it go, boss? Are any of you hurt? <laughs> if you thought they stood any chance against us, you were sorely mistaken. We're up against the MC. Come on now. Anyway, stop playing tough and start talking. There won't be any room for negotiation once the Maison Guardianage gets involved. We... we're looking to get vengeance on Spina de Rasula. Hmm... We were discovered, and can't beat you in a fight. We admit it, we lost. So it is Romeo's um, men. Get revenge? Wait, you're not Romeo's followers, are you? You actually know that name? But if you do, then surely you should understand why we hate you so much. What is advice to calm them? Indeed, you haven't got the faintest hope of winning right now. We were out drinking when we saw Navia. We got so angry we decided to follow you guys and look for an opportunity to really mess up your day. That's so childish. <laughs> Too bad you Honestly. guys messed up ours first. What? You're lying. You followed us all the way here. There's more to this. You're pretty sharp. But so what? We didn't do anything. And now it should be pretty obvious that we can't do anything to you anyway. Seeing you like that just really ticked us off. And we let the drink go to our heads. Oh, they're... They're, they're intoxicated. <laughs> Bruh. Listen. Callus is long dead. No matter what happened in the past, I want to be able to start things anew. I am the current president of Spina di Rosula. If your boss wants to talk with me... I'd be happy to meet with him. Mm hmm. Talk to him. I won't press charges for your attack. That should also help demonstrate my sincerity. I mean, we started attacking first, so... I understand. Thank you. I'll let our boss know. We're just talking this. <laughs> but if you so much as think about pulling something like this again, I won't be so lenient next time. Understood? All right. We get it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> uh, are you sure it's okay to just let them go like that, Navia? I mean, we can't really do much to them. I don't want to inherit my father's grudges, too. And moreover, <coughs> when it comes to the Aquabus, I don't think what my father did was entirely correct either. I mean, if they want more, we can just keep giving them knuckle sandwiches, so... If the other side is willing to talk, I'm happy to open the door for a reconciliation. 
opportunities for new beginnings are all around us. I support Boss's decision as well. The concept of an eye for an eye is a primitive practice that has no place in today's Spina di Rosula. Ah, uh, classic. Yes. <coughs> Plus, we already know that they're strapped for cash. If their financial situation is that dire, they don't have what it takes to challenge us. So this may be the best time to talk. I still think we should keep an eye out for Romeo's folks, though. If he decides to ignore the warning I gave his men, then we could still have a fight on our hands. Yeah, there's gotta be more to that. Yeah, those guys definitely didn't look like big fans of yours. <laughs> I'd rather things not go that far, since... Though we haven't talked to each other for years, once upon a time we were all a part of the Spina di Rosula family. Yep. Yep, that's how I feel as well. Anyway, now that we sent them packing, we don't have to worry about those guys anymore. It's getting late already, so why don't we stay the night in the Fluff Sandra? <laughs> we can head back to Poisson tomorrow. I'll also ask someone to write Florent a letter and inform him of everything that happened here today. So he can increase security around Poisson and be on guard against any suspicious individuals. Do we have to stay in the Fleuve Sondo again? Even the pillows there smell like seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's just what happens when you live near water and don't get much sunlight. Poisson's pretty much the same though, so I've long since gotten used to it. <laughs> we can still go out in the evening for some grilled fish and drink so. Bet you there'll be people singing sea shanties too. How does that sound? No, 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 <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Coming back here really does feel like this place is starting to grow on Paimon. <laughs> It, it would be kind of weird if the Spina's base at the court was some super luxurious building like the Palais Marmonia. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Right on the money, Paimon. Although, of course, with the continued growth of the Spina, Papa wanted Poisson to eventually grow into a metropolis, not unlike the court. He was a very ambitious man, who rarely looked behind or beneath him. For better or worse, that always made him stand out from the crowd. He's unique. And that's also why people hated him just as much as they loved him. Alright. Uh, why don't you go wait for me at the restaurant? I'll go do some prep and I'll get someone to tidy up your room while I'm at it. You can use the same room as last time. You still remember the room number, yeah? Yep, yep. Kinda hard to forget when there are only so many rooms here after all. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Did I just hear someone taking a dig at Fluv Sandra? I'll tell my guys to stuff your pillows full of actual seaweed right now. <laughs> Her face. Oh, Paimon, sorry! Please have mercy, Navia. If you do that, then Paimon really won't be able to sleep at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding. Be on your way now. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> hey, now. Is there a table set here? Sit, sit inside and wait for the banquet. Uh. Sorry for body, bro. <coughs> Just want to sit down, bro. There you go. I know. Enjoy the task me as well as wonderful performance. Thanks for sorry. You turn to your room, fine, but you seem. Hello. Are you asleep yet? Navia? Something happened? Oh no, not at all. I just figured that since we don't get to enjoy nights like these very often, we should try to enjoy it to the fullest. Bro, what time is it? Wanna go fishing? I've got some rods and lures ready. Bruh. Oh, so 
that's the prep you were talking about. Oh, welcome. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're just chilling. <laughs> well, hopefully, I didn't wake you or anything. You're good, since the invitation is coming from you. <laughs> I knew it. You really are my best partner. <laughs> okay, let's go. To the fishing spot. It's a bit odd that it's late at night and then we're fishing. Fish lost and inherited. Fish with Nadi. Um. Hmm. Yeah, just go there. I know. Ah, crap. You know what? Let's do that. Underwater. Under the sea. People in Poisson use rods like these. It's just technologies. <laughs> but, but shouldn't fishing be all about, you know, attentively watching the float and then excitedly reeling in the catch when you finally hook something? <laughs> well, that's one way to enjoy fishing. What do you think, traveler? I like Paimon's method. Manual all the way. A tom tom a tomation. Wait. Tomation is more efficient. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel as well. To me, I'm happy as long as I catch some fish. Honestly, Paimon's mainly shocked at how much energy you still have at this hour. Usually by this time of night, it's a struggle for Paimon to even keep her eyes open. <laughs> huh. It's a It might just be something that runs in my family. That's a thing? Huh. <laughs> I'm sure you'd get even sleepier if I delved more deeply into it. Anyway, I was just thinking about how grateful I am to my mother. As well as the rest of the Spina. Your mother? My father always had a lot of unrealistic expectations for me. But the more that he tried to get <clears throat> me to become like him, the less I wanted to listen to what he had to say. My mother never had those kinds of expectations, though. I've heard that she had only one wish for me, which was that I would have a happy and secure childhood. All the members of the Spina greatly respected her wish, so no matter what I did as a child, they were happy to humor me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Whenever my father wanted to scold me for something I'd done, everyone would form up into two rows and just stand silently and listen to him rant. Malus and Silver were always there too. No matter what Papa yelled, nobody else would say a word. Eventually, Papa must have recognized scolding me over trivial matters was pointless, because he eventually stopped getting on my case so often. Hyman would have never guessed. Oh, those fun fasms, bro. <laughs> yeah, looking back on it now as an adult, I can hardly believe how patient and kind everyone was. When I was young... I often thought that I could do whatever I wanted, because there'd always be someone there to clean up after me. But once, I saw Malus come back wounded. He wouldn't tell me how he'd been injured, but I could tell it had something to do with me. I learned then that there's always a cost to making a mistake. The more you care about those around you, the more you should care about doing the right thing. To the best of your abilities. Because if you do falter, 
There'll inevitably come a time when you'll have to face the consequences. And when that time comes, those most precious to you really will throw themselves in front of you and pay the price for your mistakes. Damn, that's so real. Oh, yeah, it must still be really hard for you. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. I wasn't planning to talk about sad things tonight. Basically, I was just saying that the nurturing atmosphere of the Spina must have been my mother's legacy, rather than my father's. Hmm. And if that's the only way that I can continue to feel her love, then I'd like to pass that warmth on. Is that why you let those guys go today? Mm-hmm. Although, maybe there's a part of not wanting to repeat the mistakes of the past. I want to be reasonable, at least. Hey, look! I think you've got something on the line! Oh. Uh, but why isn't the rod automatically reeling it in? Huh. Oh, there must be something wrong with how I installed the mechanism. It was my first time putting one of those rods together. Oh. We can't let it get away. Come on, you two. Let's catch it. Oh. You want Paimon to help too? <laughs> Run. First in time, Paimon managed to reel in the prize catch together. The rest of the night, your rod continues to rack up catch after catch, while for some reason Navia can seem to look a shingle fish. Navia is quite upset about her bad luck. It's only when you begin to hit back that Paimon discovers the real reason to the mystery of why she didn't get a single bite. You, oh. You didn't attach a hook to your line? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> no wonder. Stop wasting time! The boss ain't gonna wait all day! <clears throat> I fucking knew. Go ahead with the operation tomorrow. Do with that information as you wish. It's Coulter. Fucking knew it. <laughs> well, your rod was missing a part too, so I guess that makes it fair. Well, if we're just talking about the number of missing parts, sure. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Paimon really can't keep her eyes open anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go to bed. I had a great time today. See you tomorrow, Navi. <laughs> mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Fucking you, it's something odd about that, Coulter. Ah, so how was last night? Did you get a good night's sleep? Paimon dreamt that she danced with the sea stars! So you could say it was... stellar. Get it? Bruh. Not again. <laughs> the jokes. <laughs> I swear you get that from. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had such a great sense of humor. Her face, man. <laughs> See, this guy gets it. <laughs> Turning it to, to freaking Sino 2.0. <laughs> anyway, let's head out. I'll arrange for a boat to take us back to Poisson. I'm sure Adele will be happy to see you two again. Yep. Paimon hopes she'll really appreciate your gift. Yeah, last time we, first time we saw her, she did not like. I it. hope so too. <clears throat> Alright. Fully automatic machine on Sunday. Today's tears, tomorrow's light. Go to Poisson. Poisson. <laughs> reminded me of croissant. 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 <laughs> Alright. Straight up. I know what's gonna happen now since we know the revelation. Right. Adele, we're back! We brought you a gift from the court, too. Whoa! Thank you so much, boss! <laughs> Don't call her boss, okay, Adele? Just Miss Navia would be fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's alright. I don't mind. 
Besides the gift, I've also got another surprise. Guess who's here? <laughs> it's been a while! Hello again. Oh, it's you two. It has been a while indeed. Thank you so much for your help on Jacques' case. <laughs> I've heard that you also help save all of Fontaine. You're truly just like the great heroes of legend. Legendary. You're really amazing! And if Miss Navi is your friend, then she must be super amazing too! <laughs> What's in this thing? Can I look? <laughs> of course! Go ahead. Oh, it's a Spina di Rosula uniform! Is it for me? But isn't it a bit big? Hmm. Well, it's a gift for future you. When you first told me that you were interested in joining the Spina, I was overjoyed. But it's the Spina's responsibility to protect everyone as well. Being a member means becoming involved in all kinds of dangerous situations. And since you're still young, I don't want your mom to have to worry about your safety. Well, such child labor, isn't it? If she accepts. So, I turned you <clears throat> down then by telling you that you'll have to wait until you're older. But this uniform is a promise that you can join us once you're old enough to wear it. Oh, man. Oh, so that's it. Well, thank you so much, Miss Navia. I'll work hard and grow up as fast as I can. <laughs> uh, but you can't really grow up faster by working hard. You've got to be patient. Bro, Everyone, I'm growing up. I'm really works. grateful that you remembered my daughter's wish and took it seriously. Thanks to the protection of the Spina, even though her father's no longer with us, we've still felt plenty of warmth and security. Oh, it's the least we could do. As long as you live in Poisson, even if you're not an official member, you're still part of the family. B boss Uh-oh. Huh? Is something up, Florent? I've got something urgent to report. Romeu and his folks have gathered outside Poisson and even shipped in a huge pile of explosives! Holy shit. What? Explosives? What do they want? It seems like they've been planning this for some time. We started investigating as soon as we received your letter yesterday. But yep. Romeu and his folks must have gotten wind as well. Because they abandoned their former posts before we could even check on them. We investigated their tracks and found out that they're after Poisson. But they have smartened up since we caught them red-handed at the court? Yep. Seems like they've got no interest in sitting down and talking at all. We should have gone straight to the Maison Guardianage. Man, I hate this guy. Sorry, I underestimated the situation. Well, too late now, I suppose. <clears throat> Laurent, where are they keeping their explosives? Nah, bro. We have an insider. On the hill to the east of Poisson, near the Clementine Line. Wait, did that mean... They want to blow up the Clementine Line? Ooh. Certainly sounds like it. Romeu and his followers hate the Spina, and everything to do with Callus, And the Aquabus was the source of their contention. If they manage to blow up the Aquabus line, all that rubble will come crashing down the hill and straight into Poisson. Bruh. Are they insane? There's tons of innocent people in Poisson! You have to stop them. Yeah. If they've been planning this for ages, they're definitely not going to let this opportunity slip by. We have to issue an evacuation order to the townspeople, and get them as far away from the entrance as possible. That should save them from the worst of it. Oh, Let's no. get everyone onto our ship. That should be the safest place. My dear partner, can I leave the Clementine line to you? If the explosives do go off, not only would the people of Poisson be in danger, any aquabuses using the line would plummet to the ground. Oh man, that's a tall order. <clears throat> Let's stop their insanity first, then settle the score with them. Got it. Leave it to us, Navia. Please stay safe, too. Just Ultra Instinct out of there, or, uh... <laughs> Not Ultra Instinct, it's fucking hell. Let's Instant go, you two. <laughs> We've got to act fast. Miss Coralie, please take Adele to the ship. Mm-mm, this guy. 
Yep, he's an assassin. Watch out, boss! Holy shit. Ooh. Did he stab himself? What do you think you're doing, Coulter? I thought all the annoying little hindrances had left, but I still couldn't get rid of you. You're old, bruh. Uh, you mean this was all a trick? So that you'd be left alone with me? Coulter, are you with Romeo too? Oh man, it's starting to... Things are starting to heat up. Oh. <laughs> I get it now. You knew about their plans all along. You only told us they were doing badly so that we'd drop our guard. Not quite. Though I share their positions on some issues, I've never cared for his more radical ideas. And that's because, out of the entire Spina di Rosula, I only hate you. Only you, Navia. Oh. You better stick close to me. It's gotta be because of, um... It's conviction to the fortress. Romeo <coughs> promised me that he would leave Poisson alone if I could just take you out. But it was like you were glued at the hip to that pesky traveler. You never gave me a chance to make my move. <laughs> Romeo has lost his patience. I didn't have to be here today, you know. But I swore that I'd kill you, even if it meant being buried with you in the rubble. Mm. Why? Only someone as clueless about the past as you would ask such a foolish question. You never saw the heyday of Spina di Rosula, nor did you ever live through the golden age of Poisson. But I, I saw it all with my own eyes, and then I had to watch it all die, little by little. Oh, is it the incident? Is it because of that, Melissa? And it was all because of you, Navia. Clementine died because of you. Callus died because of you. Malus and Silver died because of you. And so many more dead. Everyone dead. All because of you. Is that the reason why? Oh, so man. The shock and grief you showed us before. That was an act too? Mm. Now you're catching on. I heard Malus was dead the moment I got out. Did you know? Down there in that blasted fortress, I spent a long time thinking about what happened and resolving to apologize to Malus as soon as I got out. Back then, because of that aqua bus, we had a huge fallout. I was convinced that all he cared about was loyalty and that he had completely lost his capacity for critical thinking. The years passed by in a blur after that. I thought I had finally begun to understand him, and that he could help me relive the good old days again. But then he died, and it was because of you again, Navia. It's always because of you. Man. I once loved the Spina and Poisson more than anyone else. But what is left now of either besides death and ruin? You've single-handedly destroyed everything that was beautiful. Everything I've ever loved. Don't listen to him, boss. He's just spouting nonsense. Have you ever considered that maybe the people around you don't actually care about you at all? Have you ever considered that maybe you only get respect because you're Callus and Clementine's child? That you've never done anything worthy? That you're just a big nothing? Oh, man. Have you ever considered that? Maybe people don't stay in Poisson because of you, but only because they have such beautiful memories of the past before you came. Because if you do falter, there'll inevitably come a time when you'll have to face the oh, consequences. No. And when that time comes, those most precious to you really will throw themselves in front of you. And pay the price for your mistakes. Don't forget about the sacrifices. <laughs> yeah. Looking back on it now as an adult, I can hardly believe how patient and kind everyone was. Bruh. Is that really why they support me? Is their kindness real? Shut your mouth! I, for one, really like Miss Navia. <laughs> and my mom loves her too! Uh, I don't know how to explain <clears throat> it, but I like her, and that's that. 
<laughs> I'm sure Mr. Malouse would be extremely disappointed in you right now. You somehow managed to pin the blame for every mistake and tragedy in our history on the boss herself. Get out of the way, Floron. I don't want to hurt you. You're gonna have to. Boss, there's no time for this. Stop hesitating and get out of here before you get buried. Maybe you think you're being the realist by painting the history of the Spina and Poisson like this. But the love that I felt from everyone was just as real. I felt it. They've helped me get to where I am. And even now, I will continue to believe in that love. So let me show you just how much I love the Spina di Rosula. Oh, you're just gonna fight him, okay. <laughs> You're about to get bonked. Ow. Oh shit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and obviously so fun to to play with. <laughs> okay. Florent, I'll leave the town to you. Summon the other members and help with the evacuation of the townspeople. If you find any of Coulter's accomplices, subdue them quickly, and don't give them the chance to harm any ordinary civilians. I can't allow my partner to face the danger on the Clementine line alone. Got it, boss. I'm on it. Are you okay, Navia? I don't know, but I have to go. Yeah, she got to she got to stop hesitating right here. Short. Well, really, you use the bottom of the dash. The entrance of Poisson. Poisson. Let's hurry up there. We have to protect the Clementine line. If they're gonna blow up the waterway, they must have planted the explosives next to the support pillars. Yep. Gotta defuse it. Uh oh. Oh, it's timed. Holy shit. Gather. Wait, smash your way through. This is order. All hail. Oh, it's very much realism. Into the wind. Fallen leaves. Adorn my dread cloud converge. We certainly brought a lot of muscle. Uh, they're really slowing us down. We're meeting resistance, we must be heading in the right direction. Oh, there's an explosive. Um, Order is that gonna explode when I use my ult? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Got scared for a Talk to Pine. Investigate. These must be the explosives, right? And this is the control mechanism. Uh, how can we disable it? Oh, Paimon's too scared to touch any of this stuff. What's this? Huh? There's a strangely shaped hole here. What is it for? Could be some kind of keyhole, or maybe an emergency switch. Oh, that certainly sounds possible. Uh, maybe one of the people <laughs> we just beat up has the key. Yeah. Okay, you take this side, Paimon will take the other. Let's see what we can find. Yep. All right. Um, look for the key. Nope, it's Mora. Let me turn this guy over. <laughs> He's super heavy. <laughs> he could probably eat a whole pie on just for breakfast. <laughs> Bro, the animation. Um, this guy. Radish. Nice. Oh. You found it! That's amazing! Okay, um... You know what? Out of spite, I'm gonna search this guy. Huh, more. Okay. Let's turn off the device right now! We're running out of time! <clears throat> Alright. Uh, 
upgrade. Sushiki. Yes. Oh, it's like that. Nice. That should do it, right? <sighs> Navi and Florent should be able to relax now. We should still check out the perimeter just in case. Oh, you're right. They could have set explosives elsewhere too. Let's go. Yeah. Did we just leave it like that though? The key the key in there? Oh. Let's see, let's go. Oh no. It's an avalanche. Ah, crap. Holy shit. Oh, I like this. Let's go. Yes, the power up we've been waiting for. Oh man, it's a huge one. Great work, partner. Just leave the rest to me. Watch out, Navia! You can't block them all. Lock. <laughs> I'm doing this the spina way. Are oh, you gonna use card cannons? Oh, for cannon gun. <laughs> That's a big one. Fire! <laughs> nice. Oh, that was lit. Oh, man. <laughs> nice. Bro, that was dangerous. Maybe being alerted, members of the Garden have had seen a short time later. Take Romeo and his followers into custody. Romeo. Romeo, you. <laughs> I heard from Thierry that even they're your enemies now. They were once a part of Spina di Rusula. Do you plan to settle this privately with them? I have nothing more to say to them. Regardless of whether their hatred and anger towards me or the Spina was justified, anyone who's willing to endanger innocent civilians is no longer sane enough to even be worth trying to talk to. Well Please said. prosecute them in accordance <coughs> to the law. Spina di Rosula will not raise any objections. Sounds good. We're very appreciative of your help. Without it, the consequences would have been far worse. All right, this operation is a wrap. Take him away. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we were just in time. <laughs> you look a little pale. Feeling a bit, a bit fatigued? It's probably because I expended too much elemental energy at once. I'll be fine. Yeah. Don't worry about me. <laughs> that was quite a lot. You usually glow up whenever other people compliment you. I was not used to seeing you like this. <laughs> yeah. So, for what? Boss! We managed to catch all the infiltrators in the town. The Maison Guardianage is taking them away as well. Nice. Seems like Romeu really went all in on this mission. If he sent literally everyone he had, though, that also means we've caught them all, too. We won't have to worry about them from now on. Ah, got it. That's good, at least. <sighs> nah, it's Coulter. This fucking bitch. Coulter. I can understand how you feel. The things that we lost, they're forever beyond our grasp now. And that makes them appear even more precious. I am not callous, and I will also never become him. The Spina and the Poisson that you loved are both gone. I will not change how I feel about our future. I still believe that this is a great opportunity to start anew. I will spend more of what the Spina earns on the betterment of Poisson. What's more, I'd also like to propose some changes to the Aquabus routes. Mm. 
so that one day the people of Poisson will enjoy the boons it brings as well. I know what you're trying to say. Mr. Callus would never have said anything like that. There are too many things in life that are just beyond our control. In that, we are the same. Henceforth, you are no longer a member of Spina di Rosula. But once you're discharged from the fortress again, you're welcome to pay another visit to Poisson. Bro, got out of jail just to get back to jail. Thank Fuck you, him. Navia. This guy. As I thought, Boss really is a kind and gentle person. She is also, I must say, a truly unlucky person. <laughs> Man. Thank you for protecting the Clementine line. I was actually really scared, you know. I mean, even the Callus line won't be getting rebuilt anytime soon. Oh, shit. If I'd lost the Clementine line too, I wouldn't know how to live with myself. A name is a way to etch a memory onto the world. Losing the line that bears her name, that I can see every day, would be like losing my mother all over again. Seeing it yeah. still standing there, tall and proud, it makes me really happy. What happened while you were gone? Honestly, you look more upset than tired or anything. Coulter. Just give her some time. It's okay, everything's fine now. I'll get you back to Poisson. Thank you so much. Can you give me a hand? I really don't have much strength left. Traveler. Oh, nice. I want to ask you something. And please, tell me the truth. Do you really see me as your partner? Um... Of course. Oh, nice. Uh, that's good, then. Hearing that, it brings me more relief than I can say. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the harem continues to grow. <laughs> How do you feel, Navia? Any better after taking a break? A bit salty that we only get like one line from Zack, bro. Man. Mm. I feel quite a bit better. But I should probably still rest for a few more days. Sorry, partner. I said some weird things earlier. Uh, feel free to just ignore me. A little weird, that's true. <laughs> that's because I've never heard you doubt yourself. I used to think that I'd never doubt myself. You could say I've discovered that I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Yeah, your will is a bit uh, wonky, I would say. Coulter mentioned my parents, as well as Malus and Silver. It's all thanks to them that I've made it this far in life. Do you think they ever regretted the choices they made? Has my existence made this world a better place? Man. Don't think like that, Navia. You've already done <clears throat> more than enough. You're having a crisis. No matter what others think, we'll always support you to the end of the world. Yep. Well, since it's ended up like this, I suppose it's time for me to make a confession as well. Oh, man. There's something that I've been keeping from you as well, boss. Please, follow me. Everything is already prepared. Uh, oh. Florent, I hope you can understand that I can't deal with any more shocking revelations right now. <laughs> yeah, she's burnt out. Don't worry. This surprise will be a pleasant one. Hmm. The shocking revelation, bro. Navia is just like... <laughs> just gonna take a break. <laughs> So I went down, where did, oh, down there, oh, man. Um, 
Go with Navia to see the surprise. <laughs> the shocking revelation. Bruh. Imagine if it is, man. Navia would just die of uh, exhaustion. <laughs> Oh wow. People here. Why is everyone gathered here? And what's this? This was supposed to be a gift to you from everyone in the town. We were originally planning to show it to you once it was finished. But special times call for special measures. Nice. I've never seen you look so defeated before. So I've decided to show you the designs before the final product was done. I do I really look that bad? <laughs> well, if you're ready, I'll unveil the present. Hmm. Oh. What is that? <laughs> oh, it's a... Uh... Wow. That portrait. Let's go. Clementine, Callus, and Navia. This is. Oh, Papa, man. Mother. And me. We designed the look for Miss Clementine based on old camera records, as well as personal recollections from members of the Spina. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. This is the statue you mentioned before? It is indeed. To be honest, we decided on the design a long time ago, and gave the sculptor permission to begin working. We only asked Boss to decide on a design so she wouldn't realize we had already started. Oh, man. How could we only have statues of Mr. Callus and Mrs. Clementine? Even though Boss is still young, we've all seen the work she's put in regarding the whole synth business and the rebuilding of Poisson. Yo, we that's wanted to cool. commemorate her contributions with the statue as well. I don't know what Spina di Rosula was like in the past, but I know it's a great organization now. With yeah. Navia around, we're yeah. not worried about this place's future. Navia's we are future. gathered here today to tell our boss that we support you and believe in you wholeheartedly. I believe everyone is here for you, not the glory days. The glory days. That's what we believe as well. It's a nice break, actually. We also always believe in the bond of between us. Thank you so much, everyone. Then I'll be brave and just accept everyone's support for what it is. This really is quite the surprise. Yeah, it's a good break. I never thought that I'd have the chance to stand next to my mother. Not even in my wildest dreams. It's a really nice portrait, honestly. Oh, that was it. <clears throat> nice. Let's go. You male? Is that? Oh, an obvious here. Um. Oh, it's Jean's birthday. <laughs> Let's see. Um, no, it's not the Navia. See what she say. Seems like I started to question myself a bit too much. I'll pick myself up again and become a more reliable president for all of you. Yeah, she keeps doubting herself, honestly. Looking back on it, I'm honestly embarrassed by how I acted earlier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> about the gift from the townspeople. I'm sure everyone longs for that one thing in life that seems trivial to others, but they themselves can never obtain. To me, that would be a family portrait. I've always been super jealous of other people's family photos. I've never thought I'd receive a family portrait of my own. Especially not like this. This seems like I'm not such an unlucky person after all. It seems all right. like I started to question myself a bit too much. 
I'll pick myself up again and become a more reliable president. For looking back oh, on it, I am honestly embarrassed by how I acted earlier. <laughs> <laughs> about Clementine. You know, I've thought about it before. Though my mother only wanted me to live a happy life, that's actually a tall order as well. In practice, it's just as hard to achieve my father's expectations for me. Even though my parents had very different personalities, they always had a lot of respect for each other. The Aquabus project was a monumental project that stood to benefit all of Fontaine. It would have been a little close-minded to assess or evaluate it only from the perspective of the clan. I think that's probably why she didn't step in to mediate or oppose the building of the lines. Yeah. It seems like I started to question myself a bit too much. I'll pick okay. myself up again and become a more reliable president for all of you. Looking back on it, I am honestly embarrassed by how I acted earlier. <laughs> but ask you, do you really see me as your partner? Oh, oh man, whoa, 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 whoa. embarrassing. Why do you have to remind me? Please don't say that again. It's super embarrassing for me. Huh? Oh, Bro. forget it now. Please forget that I ever said anything. Oh, wait. But it'd also be bad if you were to forget it. <laughs> Bro, Navia, okay. come on now. But please keep it a secret between us from now on. Please don't ever mention it again. <laughs> I want to tease her, actually. It was a wholesome story quest, honestly. I like it.